before we get into this video, uh, unfortunately I've got an apology to make. I took this vlog last night and I've had a quick look at the video footage and didn't realise I actually filmed this uh, this vlog in 4K on my Canon N50 last night. Um, don't ask me why, I just decided I would. I didn't realise that it crops the picture, um, so it makes my head look huge, <laughs> which is great. And also there's no continuous focusing, so it's continually hunting for a focus point, uh, which looks a bit naff. But anyway, I'm going to make the edit and hopefully it's okay uh, and it doesn't spoil the video. So into the video now. Welcome back. He flies. Sorry about the sunglasses. Got the sun right behind you. It's quite warm. Got my legs out. It's uh, it's about quarter to eight probably, and I've come down for a sunrise at a place I'll tell you about in a minute. But first of all, I just wanted to uh, apologise for the three weeks delay you've had since my last upload. Been um, been away on holiday into a fantastic all-inclusive resort in Turkey. Um, beautiful place. Um, ate far too much, so you probably don't recognise me because I did put on a lot of weight. But um, yeah, it's been a nice break, so I um, got back. I wanted to get out tonight. It's Friday night. I thought I'd nip out for a couple of hours and get a sunset. <sighs> That's going to annoy me, I think. And uh, yeah, so I've come to Grafham Water in Cambridgeshire, near Huntingdon. It's a large reservoir manned by uh, Anglian Water. And the reason I'm here is because there is a, <laughs> a lone tree, believe it or not. Now I saw this on Instagram several weeks ago. Um, somebody posted a picture of this lone tree and immediately said, where's that? Because it said it was in Cambridgeshire. And he told me and um, I thought I need to get myself down here and have a look. And in the meantime, um, one of my Instagram friends uh, and also subscribers to the channel, Paul Benz, uh, went along with a couple of friends and uh, found the place. And yeah, showed me some shots and they look quite nice. Uh, it's a sunset uh, tree because the sun's setting behind you and I'll show you the tree in a second. But uh, So it's, it is a, it's definitely a sunset location um, and a nice sort of long exposure location. So I thought I'd come down and give it a go. Now, it's been a real struggle to find it, I must admit. I was given a map by Paul and thanks Paul for your help really appreciate that because I have eventually found it but yeah it's been a bit of a struggle to find this because I'm you sort of walk through a load of trees and through a housing estate and you eventually find this little place so it's quite uh, quite secluded but um, yeah let me see how I get on tonight with this lone tree there's a few compositions that have been a little bit uh, restricted through some overhanging trees or overhanging branches to a tree so I need to overcome that a little bit but uh, there isn't a cloud in the sky, um, so I'm not anticipating a great sunset, but hopefully if we get some of those nice pink hues across the horizon and a nice long exposure with the tree, um, that might work out quite nice. So this vlog will be quite short because it is really just here to shoot this tree and see how this comes out. So let's get set up and see how we get on. Okay, so I've taken a couple of images actually using the tree here uh, on the left hand side of the frame to actually balance the tree on the right. The, the tree naturally bends from right to left so it needs something on the left of the frame to balance it. So I've actually just used this overhanging tree here on the left to balance the frame. Um, it looks okay. Um, it's 
it's, I've got a three stop medium edge grad just to take the to balance the exposure of the sky and the water and a polarizer to take the glare. Um, I don't think it will be the best image of the evening, but it's one just to try different compositions really. I've taken another one actually of the using the canopy of the trees above and the more wider shot, probably gone out to about 16mm on a more wide shot, uh, and then use the canopy of the trees as a frame to the tree itself. So see what that one looks like as well. But I think really the focus for the next few shots is going to be just isolating that tree itself. As you can see I've come quite low down for this shot and the reason I'm low is because I really want to try and get the bottom branches of the tree just above the horizon. So I think I've done that now. Uh, if I'm honest, I've ordered a new pair of specs because my uh, prescription is out of date and I think I'm there, but I'm not 100% sure because I can't quite focus it, it's a bit dark. So I hope that the bottom branches of that tree are just above the horizon. <laughs> that is the plan. So yeah, I've come down quite low. The sun is just about to set now. Um, I'm really struggling for another composition. If I'm honest, I've looked around. I've looked around to try and get something under this tree and it really isn't there. I think this image will probably be a square crop, actually. I've had to go quite wide to make sure the tree is, um, is not too dominant in the frame as well, so I might have to crop in a little bit uh, on the image, but yeah, I think it'll probably end up a square crop. Right, let's wait for the sun to go down, see what happens to the uh, the horizon, we get some nice hues on the horizon um, and see if we can get one more shot. So the sunset, and I got some quite nice final images there. Um, I put the six stop neutral density filter on at the end to give me some exposure times between 30 seconds and a minute. Um, I, I think I've got some square crop images in my head, and I've just tried one, in fact I'm cooking one now that uh, finishes in 10 seconds. So, <laughs> bear with. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, that was quite nice actually. So that particular one I've just done there is um, the trees to the left of the frame pointing towards a negative space on the right hand side and it's, there's some real purpley hues on the horizon which I hoped and expected there would be. And I quite like that tone in an image so that one's quite nice and the other one it was pointing, it, I was further round as I was earlier on as you saw when I was down further and that's pointing more to the left so again keeping the tree either on the left or the right and using the rest as negative space which was really what I wanted to come out for tonight the images I saw that Paul posted to me um, were very similar images so uh, and I think that's what I've created there's no nothing in the sky at all so it is literally just the colours and the tones behind the tree that, uh, that are given the, uh, the tree the interest so yeah right I have been bitten to death I really have I'm sure when I get back tonight I'm going to be scratching all night long <laughs> But I've actually enjoyed it, it's been nice to get out, as I said, it's after a week off, um, just coming out with the camera, it's always good. See, I think I've got probably one or two images that I'm happy with tonight, you'll have seen them. Um, I think that's it now, I'm going to call it a night, so thanks for watching this, sorry it's been a, bit, a little bit of a short one. Um, but yeah, Lone Tree in Cambridgeshire, who'd have thought eh, who wants to go to North Wales? Actually, I do, and I'm going in two weeks time. Uh, so. Whether I'll get another vlog out before I go, I'm not sure, but if not, um, I will certainly try and get a vlog out um, while I'm in North Wales for the week. Uh, hoping to meet up with uh, David Griffiths, although he doesn't know about it yet, but I'll be sending you a message, David, just to at least grab a coffee if we can, as I'm on your manor. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that, just going for a week with, uh, with the family, just have a tour around uh, sort of the Snowdonia area, so yeah, really looking forward to that. So yeah, from the Lone Tree in Cambridgeshire, um, I'll bid you farewell tonight. Hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.